in this video I'm going to show you how to get Command & Conquer Tiberian Sun working on the Steam Deck. About six months ago I created a video uh, showing you how to do this um, along with the game Red Alert 2. However, that was for the non-Steam version of the game. Um, it was an hour long, very complicated, and although it did work, it was, it was just a real um, tricky process to go through. Thankfully, a few days ago, uh, EA added the Command & Conquer collection to the Steam store. Uh, which is great you get 17 games and i think i paid something like nine pounds for it so i couldn't really resist buying it i did however find that the method of getting red alert 2 and tiberian sun that i'd done in the past didn't actually work and it requires a new approach so that's what this video is about today now i've already covered red alert 2 in, a, in another video uh, this is tiberian sun the process is almost identical there's just a few different things you have to do towards the end of the installation process uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, don't worry about it. I'm going to start afresh. I'm going to start from the very beginning. So as long as you follow everything I do in this video, you'll be able to get Tiberian Sun running. And if you'd like to play Red Alert 2, then you can find uh, the, the video on my channel, which will show you how to do that as well. So to get started, you're going to need to connect to your Steam Deck in desktop mode. Um, I would recommend a mouse and keyboard, but I wouldn't worry if you don't have one or you can't connect one to your Steam Deck because this is entirely possible using the trackpad. It just takes a little bit longer. So the only thing I've done to begin with is I've installed uh, Tiberian Sun and Firestorm from the Steam Store. I haven't run it yet. It says last played today, uh, but that's just some testing I was due. But I, I took it out completely and put it back in. So it's a completely clean install and I haven't modified it, haven't added any of the files required yet because we're going to run through all of that now. And I want you to see it um, as if you were doing it for the first time. So go ahead and install it. You're welcome to play it if you want, but what you'll find is that you'll either get graphical glitches or some of the menus will be missing and you won't be able to interact with the game properly. Uh, so yeah, run it if you like, but I, I would recommend just leaving it as it is. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go and download a patch from a website. I will put the link in the description, uh, but you need to come to this website here and you need to click download cncddraw.zip and just clicking that will start the download and it'll go into your downloads folder. You then need to go to your downloads folder and click the zip, right click it, go down to extract and extract archive here. And this will create four files and you can delete the original zip file as we won't be needing that. So we're just going to close this window for now and we need to now download an app called Proton Tricks from uh, Proton Tricks from the uh, from the Dolphin store. Or the discover store so we head down to the discover store and search for proton tricks and hit enter this is what you need to install now i've already got it installed so i don't need to do anything but you just hit the install button and let that install and once that's done we can close the discover store and then need down to go to the application launcher and find Proton Tricks. So you can scroll down to find it, or you can just type Proton Tricks into the bar at the top, and we need to open it. When it opens, you'll see a list of all the Steam games that you have installed. We need to find Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun and Firestorm and click OK. Now, Proton Tricks sometimes looks like it's not doing anything, but it does just take a while, so we just have to sit and wait for it to show itself, it should only take a few seconds. And it should bring this window up. And we need to leave it on select the default wine prefix, click OK. And on the next page, we need to select the option which says install a Windows DLL or component, and then click OK. And again, it'll do some thinking. And then we've got a list of all these files here that we can we can choose to install. Now we only need one and that down here is CNC D draw. So we need to click that and then click OK. And once again, it will look like it's not doing anything, but we'll know it's finished because it will pop up the uh, selection window again. And there we go. Once this window appears, you can just hit cancel. And then the same next one, you can just hit cancel and that part's done. The next thing we need to do is go back to our Steam library, find Tiberian Sun, right click, hit manage, go to, and go to browse local files. And this will show us our entire Tiberian Sun install directory. We then need to go over to our downloads folder, 
So the, probably the best thing to do is go down to your uh, Dolphin File Explorer here, right click and hit uh, Open New Window. And go to our Downloads folder where we downloaded those four, had those four files before from that downloaded zip. Select them all, right click, hit Copy, and then go into our Tiberian Sun folder, right click and hit Paste for Items. You'll get this pop-up saying file already exists. You can just hit overwrite. And then we are done with these four files in the downloads folder. We can now delete them as we no longer need them. We're going to need to come back into this uh, command and conquer back Tiberian Sun folder again. So we'll just minimize that for now. However, if you somehow accidentally close it and can't find it again, just come back to the Steam entry, right click, go to manage and browse local files. And that will open that folder again. So next what we need to do is uh, we need to right click Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun, go to Properties, go to Compatibility, and we need to make sure that force the use of a specific Steam Play compati compatibility tool is ticked and it's set to Proton Experimental. So if you find that yours looks like this, you need to tick this box, drop this down and find Proton Experimental. Once you've done that, you can hit uh, the close button. We then need to go back to our Tiberian Sun folder and we need to scroll down until we find a file called cncddrawconfig.exe. We need to right click that and go add to Steam. And we can minimize this folder again because we will need to come back here. But if we go up in our Steam library, we will find that we've actually got cncddrawconfig.exe as a program in Steam. We need to right click this, go to properties, go to compatibility, and we need to do the same thing again. We need to tick this box, and then we need to find Proton Experimental, and then hit the close. And then we just need to run it. So we press the play button. It will eventually bring up a window. And the first thing it will do will say CNC D draw requires a DLL override in wine config. Would you like to add it now? Hit yes. We need to set the presentation to full screen. We need to click maintain aspect ratio, and then we can leave all these options alone. Under advanced settings, we need to drop down renderer and we need to choose GDI. And all of these options can be left as they are. Hotkey settings we can ignore compatibility settings we can ignore. So once we've done uh, all of these, uh, we can close it. But just to run through that again, under display settings, it needs to be full screen with the option set like this. Under advanced settings, it needs to be GDI under renderer with the option set like this. Uh, hotkey settings we leave alone and compatibility settings we leave alone. And then we can just close this. And we're done with this now. So if you want to tidy our library up, we can right click then we can hit uh, manage and remove from our library. So the very last thing we need to do is we now need to go to back into our Tiberian Sun folder and we need to find we need to make changes to two files. So the first one is a file called ddraw.ini or .ini. So we need to double click that to open it. And at the very top here, we've got two options, width and height. For the width, we need to type in 1280 and for the height, we need to end uh, 800, which is, this is the screen resolution of our Steam Deck. So once we've done that, uh, we just hit save on the toolbar and then we can close it. And then we need to scroll down until we find a file called sun.ini and we need to double click that to open it. And down the bottom here under video, we need to change the screen width to 1280 and the screen height to 800 and then just hit save in the toolbar and close it and now if we've done all of that we should be able to run the game and not only will all the menus function correctly it should also be in a, a widescreen resolution which won't be um, stretched it will be properly scaled to the screen so we can just hit play Obviously, we've got the launcher here. Just choose which one you want, but we're just going to launch the base game. And it'll do a 
few things that the Steam store requires. So take a few seconds. So we've got the installation video. I'm just going to skip ahead on these. Uh, we'll just play the standard Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. And we will just do a skirmish and just click OK. And there we go. Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. And as you can see, that the screen has been scaled correctly to the 1200 by 800 resolution and there's no stretching and you can launch this game in, de in gaming mode no problem and all the settings will be retained and the controls will all work and yeah that's it really simple solution like I said I've also done this for Red Alert 2 you can uh, check out the video um, on my channel, but I'll also put a link to that in the description. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. If you've got any problems or any issues, just drop a comment and I will do my best to help. Thanks for watching.